I'm the lucky one today, mixing whole grains with citrus for a fresh recipe in the kitchen. Joining me now in this sponsored interview is Chef Callan from Harmon's with all the ingredients you need to make this at home. Yes. I told you I'm a salad girl. She's a salad girl, and there's so many different salads in the world, so it's wonderful. And this one can be cool, it can be warm, it can be hearty. It's like a winter salad, yes. right? Yes, yes. It's winter salad. We're in citrus season. It's exactly what our bodies need right now, which is wonderful. So we've got a lot of citrus happening. Oranges are such a great deal at Harmon's right now so because good. I just bought a big bag. Nice, wonderful. Yes. So what do we need to make this salad? So we're gonna start with, so we've already, we've cooked some farro. Okay, we explain, chat about that. let's chat about that. Yes. Because I said, what is farro? What is happening? It's a beautiful hearty grain. Give you a little visual here. So this is the bag it comes in. Um, it's yes. not couscous, it's not bulgur, it's similar, little, it's not quinoa? It's not quinoa, it's a little bit more of a barley. It actually is really good sweet or savory. So we're gonna obviously do it savory today in a salad, but it's yummy for breakfast with berries and things Okay, so like this that. is what it looks Super like hearty. when, after you, yes. after you cook it. After okay. you cook it. Um, so we've got that happening. We are also gonna be making a warm vinaigrette. So do you ever um, toast your spices? I don't, why do I toast spices? So it really enhances the flavor, it enhances the rom aroma. So we've got some ground cumin here. Mm -hmm. We're gonna add uh, a little bit of olive oil. So you can toast spices with oil or dry. I so, have literally yeah. never done that. Yeah. I've been yeah. missing out on this enhanced flavor. <laughs> I didn't know. It's great, yeah. So, since we are hitting all the love with our um, citrus today, we're gonna add a little bit of citrus zest. Kay. Have you ever used one of these bad boys mm -hmm. before? I, in fact, I bought it at Harmon's. Yeah, Because I great. told you half of my paycheck each month goes to Harmon's. <laughs> goes to Harmon's. <laughs> it does. So we're gonna zest. Should I zest? Yep, Kay. zest half of that. Mm -hmm. uh, lemon. Okay. So again, we've got lots of, lots of citrus happening right now. Oh, it smells so good um, instantly when you start zesting. Instantly, and I always, like, if you wanna enhance your, like, your lemon bars or any of your baking, Add the zest, it's really where that gorgeous, gorgeous flavor. More than the juice? Both, you can even add both, but I got I like to tap, really good. Yeah. tap, to give it really a little tap, 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 tap to really Great. get it in there. Perfect, okay. Great job. Um, and then we're gonna do some lemon juice mm -hmm. uh, as well. So you can squeeze it in, otherwise, we have one of those fun lemon squeezers there. Are so. these cool? Yeah. Like the, I, I swear you'll use it a thousand <laughs> times. You'll get it and say, why do I have that? And then you'll use it over and over. Yeah. I have one of these in my kitchen. It's great. Should we put it in? Put it in. Okay, and get squeeze that going. away. Give it a little squeeze. Mm -hmm. So this is really our base dressing. Um, so we've got that beautiful okay. citrus really coming through. We're gonna do, a, you could use a Dijon. I like to mix up my mustards. I'm kind of, mustard's like probably my favorite condiment. But we're just doing a stone ground, whole grain. And you can mustard. really see the like little mustard yeah. seeds in this yeah. one. Yeah, Kay. really fun. So we've got that happening. Um, so we're gonna uh, eventually put this all into our uh, big bowl here. Um, first, we're gonna add some green olives. Mm -hmm. We've gotta add a little bit of salt action oh, here. Oh, and we're putting those right yep. in with the spices and the mustard and everything else. Okay. That's gonna help to kind of infuse those olives, give them a little jump start. Okay. Um, and they're really fun. So we're gonna start mixing. So we're right. gonna add the farro into our, our bowl here. Okay. Whoop, right there. And then we can go ahead and drizzle in our dressing. Put this in Put here. Put the whole kit and caboodle okay, in add there. Add that on top. I yep. feel like I'm your sous chef right now. <laughs> it's great, you're doing a Thank great job. Thank you so much. I don't know if Harmon's <laughs> likes that, but I am I'm doing my best over here. They love it, they love because it so much. Because you teach a lot of the cooking classes, don't I you? I do. Yep, I'm in Holiday. I teach at our, our cooking school there. In Holiday at our, our beautiful little that's uh, a great cool location. Market. Should mm -hmm. I stir everything together? You can go ahead Mix and give together. it a stir. Um, so we're gonna pack a little more protein in here. Let's do this it. is a great lunch. Um, it's it's great for breakfast if you like savory uh, for breakfast. And farro good for you. Really good, Very for, good you, for you. Packed okay. with protein. We're gonna add some chickpeas in there. Mm -hmm. And this can be super versatile if you like white beans. If you don't care for beans at all, you can do that. Um, a little bit of onions. Okay. I did soak these in water to make them a little less aggressive. Sure. Yeah. Why you do that? Yeah, so if you've ever had, well, and you can notice how thinly cut these are, if you've ever chopped them up, you know, and they're just, they're, they're a lot. 
put it's onions like a, can be a lot, lot of bite. Yeah, it's a, it's a it's, lot of bite. They have a bite. So if you soak them in water, it also makes them really crispy, so they're a great texture. So last um, time you were on, you shared that, and I've been doing that now before I add them to salads. Yeah. And I like the flavor so much more. Yeah. Good tip. Great. great. Super yummy. And then lastly, we have... So oh, more citrus. More citrus. Good. Have you had these before? I've not. Are these the blood orange? These are, um, I've been saying them cara cara, but it's cara cara. Oh, cara cara. Yeah, which sounds a little more fancy. They are yes. very fancy. Yes. Um, so they kind of look like little grapefruits because it's such an incredible color, isn't that? And you're just adding those little slices yes. to the salad. And then we go ahead and build. Build so greens salad. on the bottom. Yep, greens. If you'd like to, I put some arugula. You could do um, spinach. So when your farro is warm and you put it on top of some oh, greens, it kind of gets soft. That and looks like so, a delicious yeah. lunch. Harmon's nice enough to share the recipe with us. It's on our website, abc4.com slash DTU. Of course, there's a Harmon's near you, harmonsgrocery.com uh, to find one. And everything citrus is right now at it Harmon's. So go and check it out, including the hummus. Yeah. That looks insane over yes, there. Yes, they're great colors. Yeah, so we're, it's our healthy living campaign right now, so come on in. Chef Kellen, thank you so much for <laughs> being for on the show, me. and our thanks to Harmon's for this sponsored recipe. We are back with Hot Topics after this. I'm taking a bite. Please do. Okay.